Hello everyone. Today we're looking at Ethernaut level 11, which is elevator. So the challenge is they have some sort of elevator contract and they're saying this elevator won't let you reach the top of your building, right? So let's take a look at what's happening. It's only one function. Actually, let's get a new instance first and then we'll come back to look at what's happening. So click get new instance and I'll confirm this transaction and wait for it to go through. Great, let's look at this contract. So we have an interface called building, which has some function called is last floor, takes in a uint and returns a boolean. So return is true or false. And I'm guessing we have to implement this interface. And then we have a contract called elevator, uh, which has two variables, boolean top and uint floor, with a single function called go to, which takes in a uint floor. So what it does is it sets uh, building equals building message dot sender. So it assumes that the caller of this function implements the building interface. So the caller of this function is a smart contract which has this function in it. And what it does is it checks, okay, if not building dot is last floor floor, uh, like for example, if you have a building with hypothetically speaking three floors, let's say, and we ask it to go to the first floor, it's like, hey, is the floor number one the last floor? And the contract says no. So it says, okay. So it sets the state variable floor equals one and then sets top equals building dot is last floor, floor one, which is false, right? And then we do this for floor number two and it goes the exact same way. So we're now on the second floor and we're not at the top yet. But when we ask it to go to floor number three, uh, it says, okay, building dot is last floor three, and it says, yes, this is the last floor. So it doesn't enter this if condition, and we're not able to reach the top floor. That, however, is assuming an honest implementation of the building contract. So what we can do instead is we can trick it in some way to actually reach the top floor such that top equals true, uh, but we have to make sure that we also enter this if condition. So the first time it checks for is last floor, we need to return it false so that not false and it can enter this if condition. But then the second time it checks for is last floor, we need to return it true. So top becomes true. All right, should be a fairly simple attack to carry out. Let's head on over to Remix and create a file called elevator attack dot soul and we'll set it up to use pragma solidity you know 0 0.8.17 and we'll create a contract called attack all right so we just need to implement this one function function is last floor i'll copy over the function definition and head on over here i'll give this variable a name floor so what we need to do is need to return it false the first time and then true the second time, right? So what we can do is we simply have a state variable called bool is second time equals false, right? And then when the is last floor function is called, we don't care about the actual floor value. We just check, okay, if is second time then we need to return it true. Otherwise, we need to return it false, right? And then let's have a function called attack, which it triggers this whole process. So it triggers the elevator contract. So I'm going to create a quick little interface for I elevator with the function definition of go to. So it's just a function go to takes in a uint and is an external function. And in the attack function, we'll take up an address of the target contract and we'll do uh, I elevator, elevator implements the elevator interface of the target contract. And we'll just do elevator.go to one. All right because the message.sender needs to be the building contract. So our attack contract acts as a building contract by having this function present. 
we triggered the go to call. The go to call is last floor is called for the first time. It returns false. Uh, actually, we also need to do is second time equals true over here. So that uh, so the first time this is called, uh, it returns false and sets this to true. And then the second time it is called, it just returns true. All right. So I'll save this, compile this, and there's a warning of not having a license or not having a this parameter not being used. We can remove the name for this. We don't use that. But okay, head on over to the deploy tab and deploy this contract. Now that the contract has been deployed, let's take our instance address of the elevator contract. Copy this address here. Head on over to the remix and provide it as the argument for the attack function. And let's call the attack function. All right, click confirm. And now it should call the go to function, which should set top equals true at floor equals one for us uh, because of this condition over here. So we'll wait for that transaction to go through. Awesome, it has already gone through. So if you go back and we check await contract dot top, see it returns true now, which shouldn't have been possible. Uh, so you click submit instance and we should be good to go. Awesome, we have passed this level. So what's happening over here is this is a lesson in using a view function modifier. So if we had used a view function on an interface, we could have prevented the state modifications. So if the is last floor function necessitated a view visibility over here, not like uh, no state modifiers, if we had view over here, then we wouldn't have been able to modify state variables. So you know, if I added view over here and tried to compile it, it wouldn't have compiled because we're trying to modify a state variable, whereas view functions are not supposed to do that. But because they did not add a view modifier, we were able to have a state variable to keep track of whether this was the first call or the second call or whatever, and trick the elevator contract into letting us go to the top floor. Yeah, hopefully you learned something about why view functions are used. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one which is going to be privacy. <music>